Hello everyone, this is group 2. In this video, we will look at certain concepts related to perceptual biases. Want to know the team members? Well, here they are. Without further ado, let's begin. What are perceptual biases? In simple terms, those are systematic errors in perceiving others. We will deal with four basic concepts called self-serving bias, fundamental attribution error, horn effect and halo effect with the help of the story of a villain. Meet Mr. Gaurav. He was a successful entrepreneur in the food business who has been listed in Forbes 30 under 30 and has received many awards. Here is the conversation between Gaurav and the host in an interview. Hello Mr. Gaurav. It's really nice to have you here. May I know who are the people behind the success of your organization? It was my dream to bring my own ideas to reality. I wanted to achieve something great and I am happy that it has happened in my early stages of life. Wow sir, you truly are the inspiration to many of the future entrepreneurs. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I am proud of myself. <laughs> Data theft. People became aware that because of a security breach, there was a data theft and people started questioning them about their safety. Investors and bankers are reaching out to Mr. Gaurav for a reason. So Mr. Gaurav, everyone wants to know, how can you ensure the safety of the people whose data has been stolen? Uh, right now, I don't have a solid answer to the question. I will be firing all the employees responsible for this act and will make sure that such incidents doesn't happen again. Is that all? What is your answer for the investors who have trusted this company and have invested a lot? Your company has lost its fame for now. This is the fault of the security team. I will make sure that I hire a good team and will settle down things for the most affected sector as soon as possible. Fundamental Attribution Error It is a tendency to attribute other people's behavior to their dispositional factors while attributing one's own action to situational factors. In other words, people have a cognitive bias to assume that a person's action depends on what kind of a person that person is rather than on the social and environmental forces that influences the person to do the action. Now, let us see how fundamental attribution error happens in our story. Gaurav finally succeeds in bringing back the fame of the company. A company in Moscow named Salsa wishes to collaborate with him. He starts to drive the car and Antony, one of his loyal employees, accompanies him to the meet. They were on the way to the airport. I am really excited to see the growth of our company in the upcoming years. Yeah, I will prove myself to the world. What is wrong with these people? Why don't they follow the rules? I would have fired an employee if he doesn't follow the rules. Gaurav and Anthony has finally made a deal with Salsa and was returning to India. Thus, a deal was made between Grandma's Kitchen, which was Gaurav's company, and Salsa, a company which was present in Moscow. Hello? Boss, some officials have arrived to make an investigation in your office. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I am coming. I will be there. Oh, for God's sake. Why is there a huge traffic today? Calm down. You are driving too fast. Fortunately, Gaurav was not found guilty during the inspection and his company decided to create a branch in South Korea and now they had to hire some people to be placed in that location. Gaurav and two other members are in that interview panel to hire candidates. A candidate highly talented known as Nitin but his looks didn't meet the expectation of Gaurav and the conversation goes like Halo and horn effect is something you have probably encountered on a regular basis. It's an effect you not only need to be aware of but one that you need to actively respond to. This effect can lead to poor decisions based on our personal biases rather than what is best for the business.
Halo effect is a positive first impression of somebody that leads to overlook their negative characters. Whereas the Horn effect is that when we have a first impression of somebody as negative, then we are more likely to concentrate on only their negative aspects. Let us see what is the Halo and Horn effect in our story. May I get in, sir? Yeah, come in. Please take your seat. Thank you, sir. Look at how he has dressed up for the interview. He is not fit for this job, I think. Nitin was a highly talented person and was not hired because of his appearance and Gaurav just rejected him without interviewing to even some extent. This brings us to the end of on effect which is a type of cognitive bias which happens when you make a snap judgment about someone on the basis of one negative trait. Big fault. Gaurav watches the news and gets irritated. In the news. The rival company of Gaurav, Jelly Beans, is receiving the award for the highest employee satisfaction company. Mr. Robert was the founder of the company. He was receiving the award. How do you feel right now? Are you happy? Thank you all. I am happy when my employees are happy. All the credit goes to the employees of my company, especially to our head of the functional team, Mr. Nitin. Before three years, during Nitin's interview with Robert in Jelly Bean's company. May I get in, sir? Yes, please, you may enter. Actually, I am very impressed with your performances, Mr. Nitin, and I expect you to see you around the office by tomorrow, 9 a.m. Thank you, sir. Conclusion. Perceptual biases are errors that disturb and disturb the perceptual process, thus leading to faulty judgments. These can occur because we, as humans, attempt to create shortcuts of understanding. With this, we conclude our presentation here, and these are the contribution from our teammates. Thank you.